Oh boy, I know we say it every week, but a new PlayStation Store sale is coming. That is pretty significant, is going to be kicking off tomorrow. I'll give you guys the details on that, and I also want to give you guys details on a game that I'm very much looking forward to, and that is 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. This is a game coming from the guys over at Vanillaware, thankfully being localized by Sega, and there is an in-depth article over on the PlayStation blog that I'll take a look at at the end. All right, first of all, yes, a big PlayStation Store sale is kicking off tomorrow. Now I know we've had a lot of PlayStation Store store sales. However, this is going to be a significant one. If my recollection is correct, the summer sale last year was pretty huge. So I imagine something very similar is going to be happening with uh, this sale. Now, obviously, the sales have kind of lost their luster to a lot of people. Maybe you've bought a lot of the games that you already want. However, there are so many games on the PlayStation Store that I don't think that's really possible. But yeah, when you got the under $15 sale and the July savings sale, the June savings sales, the under $10 sale, the sale because we haven't had a sale in four days sale. I mean, like, yeah, I can understand why the sales lose a little bit of their luster. The same thing happened on PC. Back in the day, Steam Summer Sales were like the craziest things. Everybody would get super hype for them, and they're still very, very popular. However, they just lost a little bit of steam and luster when just about everywhere you could get great deals and they were running a lot of promotions. That's kind of happening with the PlayStation Store, but let's be real, that's not really an issue for the consumer, or should we really be mad about sales running all the time? It's a great opportunity to get games cheap. Do bear in mind that there is a, I think, under $15 sale, and there's also a, um, what is it? There's a July saving sale, I think. I don't remember all of the terminology. Those are running right now, and those are both ending tomorrow. One game that I've recommended to a bunch of people uh, close to me because I know they didn't check it out was Assassin's Creed Rogue. That's south of $10. If you're a fan of the older Assassin's Creed game, I was just looking at that yesterday, and I was like, that was a really good game. And uh, yeah, if you look at the reception on the PlayStation Store, it's not like a lot of people have played that game. So if you want something to pick up right now, I think it's $9.89. I really enjoyed my time with it, and it had a lot of the uh, elements from Assassin's Creed 4 that I really enjoyed. Not as good as Assassin's Creed 4, but pretty good in its own right. As far as the summer sale, I imagine it's going to have hundreds of games discount. Now, what's interesting is the promotional images suggest save up to 60%. I always see the PlayStation Store throwing out these uh, promotional images, like save up to 50%, up to 60%. Usually, they blast right by that. I don't know if I'm not understanding the terminology. However, the promotional image literally says summer sale save up to 60%. I believe there's another image that's circulating that says save up to 50%. Chances are there are going to be games that are going to be, you know, 75 or even 85% off. So I wouldn't get wrapped around that all too much because generally speaking, a lot of the older titles and a lot of games that get discounted regularly, uh, they go on sale pretty, pretty heavily and they don't really bear that 60% off. Maybe that's only exclusive to the first party games. I don't necessarily know, but obviously when the sale does go live tomorrow, we will give you guys our full rundown of it and look at the best deals. Maybe a couple of videos depending on the gravitas of the sale, but I am expecting quite a few deals, especially because they're throwing out emails, they're letting everybody know. I think the information came out yesterday, so you're literally hyping up a sale for two days. Sony doesn't typically do that unless it's days of play or something significant, so I am led to believe that this is going to be a pretty massive sale, so good time to build up your PlayStation 4 library as well, especially on the digital end of things when the PlayStation 5 comes out. Hopefully all of those will be playable, and I think it's very smart. Somebody threw this out in the comments section and really got me thinking because I think this this person was on the money. I'm sorry I can't credit you right now, but running a bunch of PlayStation Store sales, getting people invested into their PlayStation 4 library when they transition into the PlayStation 5, that's going to make the sell on the PlayStation 5 so much easier. Even if the Series X offers a compelling launch lineup, people are just going to think, I already got like 100 games on my digital library on PlayStation. I'm going to stick with PlayStation just on that virtue alone and that standpoint alone. So I think that's relatively intelligent. I just don't know how big of an element that is, but it's definitely something to think about. Not, not Nevertheless, the summer sale will be kicking off tomorrow. All right, moving on from that, 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim, new release date, and an interview. Lead editor Ali Doyen takes sci -fi, uh, talks sci-fi narrative adventure, voice acting, and more. 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim, now released on September 22nd. I believe it was scheduled for like the 13th or the 9th. The exact release date escapes me right now, and it will arrive on PS4 with English voiceover as part of a day one patch. I think initially we were led to believe that English voiceovers were happening, but it wouldn't be a launch day thing, so that's super exciting to see. It is a vanillaware sci-fi adventure and if you know don't know about vanillaware great games odin sphere dragon's crown and my favorite and god damn it why haven't we gotten a remaster or a port or something muramasa the freaking demon blade that game was phenomenal love that game on the nintendo we emulated it on my pc played it on the 
PlayStation Vita with Rebirth. We need that game again because that game was so, so good. And uh, I want to read some excerpts from the interview itself. 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim is, uh, is honestly the game is so unique that straightforward explanation of the premise wouldn't do it justice. I could sit here for hours pouring my heart out about it, but that's part of what makes it so fun to experience for yourself. If I had to condense it down to a few themes, I guess I would say it's a surprisingly heartfelt mystery across time, space, and human lives. You've got the love letter to sci-fi giant robots, giant monsters, and the kaiju, suspicious men in black, the works, and then you've got the human elements of love, purpose, memory, and the self set against the gorgeous backdrop of Vanillaware's signature audiovisual style. It's all very compelling. Now, it does seem like this is a different kind of style of game than what Vanillaware typically does. Seems like it has elements of a visual novel incorporated to the stylization of Vanillaware's title. I'm very excited for that. I love visual novels in a sense of games like Danganronpa, Zero Escape. Those titles are really good. Incorporated that in the Vanillaware game with their art style. I think that has potential to be really, really good. Obviously, it's coming out in a time period where there are going to be like a billion games coming out and we're all looking forward to next gen however i really do think this is going to be a game to be on the lookout for again it drops september 22nd and that's going to conclude this video again the big playstation store summer sale kicks off tomorrow stay locked for our coverage of that hopefully we get some killer deals and hopefully it's a good chance for you guys to expand your library maybe you already completed ghost of tsushima i already have a lot of friends that are beating the hell out of that game and they're already moving on to the next game i can't be that surprised anymore with you know everybody being indoors and just playing video games all day kind of crazy but that's where we are by the way ghost of tsushima really good was not hot on it initially when i started playing it but as i played more and more of it man that game gets really freaking good really proud of soccer punch with that one but the PS Store sale starts tomorrow, and Aegis Rim, uh, 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim, I should say, comes out September 22nd. That's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.